The Golden State Warriors signed athletic freak Jermichael Green to replace Otto Porter Jr. So we're going to be going through five reasons why I think Jermichael Green is a perfect fit for the Golden State Warriors and how he can help the Golden State Warriors win another NBA championship. So make sure you like this video and if you do want more Golden State Warriors content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. Guys, 99% of you are still not subscribed, so it would mean the world if you could subscribe. But first, let's get into the first reason and that being that Jermichael green is an athletic freak so like i've talked about before jermichael green stands at six foot nine and he actually has a weight of 217 pounds and has a seven foot two wingspan yes you heard that right guys seven foot two so he is honestly an athletic freak he moves very well for a power forward slash center position which makes him a very good defender now if you didn't know jermichael green was actually a part of the denver team in the 2021 2022 season and he actually versed golden state warriors in the playoffs now he didn't play a lot of minutes he was actually only averaging a couple of minutes in that series of around 10 to 11 minutes but he was actually averaging around three to four boards per game which is pretty good okay now he doesn't have a lot of time there on the court so it's really hard to judge by his stats but when it comes to you know what he has done when it comes to the time he had on the court he did a very good job not only with rebounds but also defensively guarding the paint changing shots of curry close when they decide to drive in and I think that's what makes Jermichael Green such a great defender his athleticism of a great vertical being able to read what the offense is doing and react to that on defensively I think really makes him such a great player on defense which is something that the Golden State Warriors second unit needs now with the second unit for the Golden State Warriors so obviously you have the first unit of Steph Clay Wiggins you know Draymond Kavon Looney that's already sorted for you but when it comes to the second unit you now have new offensive Offensive threats such as Dante DiVincenzo, Jordan Poole's now back. Um, we also have other players, Mac McClung and others to name a few when it comes to them on the offensive side. What I really think Golden State Warriors need is a defensive big man that's really defensive centric and that's someone Jermichael Green can be. I think honestly getting someone like him of his caliber is really, really good. He's not a young player. He's around 32 years old. I think he is turning 33 soon. So he is a bit of an older player, but I think that's honestly kind of the perfect age where he has great experience and is going to be able to help the young ones especially in that second unit you know they have a lot of young players this year when it comes to the bench guys with McClung Jordan Poole just to name a few and I think Jermichael Green will be a great veteran for that second unit reason number two is Jermichael Green is a lights out three-point shooter now what a lot of people don't really know this about Jermichael Green but he is a really good three-point shooter now obviously this season he didn't play that many minutes when it came to the season with Denver Nuggets especially versus Golden State Warriors in that playoffs but when it comes to his other playoff performances when he was actually in the LA Clippers in 2018 to 2019 he actually put up a three-point percentage of 52 percent and was actually taking 3.8 attempts when it comes to the three a game and he was still shooting 52 percent from the three-point line which is honestly ridiculous now he actually did average 11 points in that playoff run in 2018 to 2019 which was honestly really good to see but he is a great lights out shooter from three which is very underrated and I feel a lot of people don't know about Jermichael Green and obviously you know we know the Golden State Warriors they love their three balls so I think honestly adding another three-point shooter to that is honestly going to make them more dangerous than ever now I can really imagine Jordan Poole and Jermichael Green running a great pick and roll I think that would honestly be so entertaining to watch Jordan Poole he can definitely get to the basket he has the speed he can also pull up on the three and we go also see Jermichael green roll to the basket maybe get a lob and finish that or if he feels like it pop out to the three and maybe get an assist or pass out to him by jordan Poole and a little swish of the three line so honestly i feel like that duo is honestly going to be something special i really do see that becoming a really great pick and roll action between jordan Poole and jermichael green and i'm telling you right now the other teams better be scared because i'm telling you jermichael green can shoot lights out now in his latest season with denver he hasn't really been able to to put up some great three-point attempts he's only averaging one three-point attempt when he played for denver in the 2021 2022 series so there wasn't a lot going on and i feel like not many of the other teams that he's played on haven't really given him the chance to actually play and to play to his ability i think now playing for someone like the golden state warriors he really fits well because he's a three-point shooter and he also has a great inside game and i think that's something that golden state warriors need as well on top of all that reason number three is jermichael green has great 
great veteran experience. So like I said before, Jermichael Green is around 32 years old. I think he is turning 33 soon, however, but 32 years old, he's at that age where I think he's pretty much at the peak of his career, guys. You know, we see a lot of NBA superstars be their best at around 27 to like 33. That's kind of like the peak age. So he's definitely in that bracket still. I think Jermichael Green is really good. He's still very athletic for his age, which is great to see that, but he can provide a lot of veteran experience, especially to that second unit. As you all know, Andre Iguodala, he played last season, but he didn't really play a lot, okay? Let's be real, he didn't play a lot of minutes, and what his role was and what his job was to really be that veteran superstar that that second unit needs and also helped up Andrew Wiggins. And I think you have seen clips before where Andre Iguodala is telling Andrew Wiggins, you know, do this, do that. And I think that's someone that Jermichael Green can be. Now, obviously you already have Draymond Green there, who's actually leading, especially for the big men when it comes to power forwards and centers, but it's never too bad to add another veteran to that roster. You know, you got James Wiseman, you got Kevon Looney. I know Kevon Looney isn't really young, but he's still a young player. Um, and you know, Jermichael Green, Draymond Green, they can both teach them things that they may not have known before. And it's not to say that there's going to be other bigs also coming into the league. You know, we have Guy Santos, who's honestly a great rookie this year. So there's still a lot of teaching that Jermichael Green and also Draymond Green can provide to this team. So, you know, great pickup, veteran experience. He's had played for some great teams as well. He played for Memphis. He's played for LA Clippers, San Antonio Spurs in his rookie year, um, and also Denver Nuggets. So he's played with some pretty good talent as well he hasn't only just played with crap teams he's played with teams that make it to the playoffs really get pretty far so i think jermichael green can provide a lot in that aspect reason number four is jermichael green is an insane finisher at the ring now a lot of people do know this when it comes to having great athleticism it also means you can pretty much dunk on everyone or anyone you ever want to and i think that's honestly what makes jermichael green so special he has the three-point shot he's able to shoot that mid-range when he can but if he gets to the ring, he is going to slam it on you and make a highlight reel out of you. And I think that's basically what makes Andrew Wiggins so special, especially for this team. You know, his three-point shot when it comes to Andrew Wiggins, it's not exactly completely there, but he has a good enough three-point shot that you have to get a hand up. But when he starts going to the ring, you are honestly done for and he's about to yam it on you. And Jermichael Green is pretty much the exact same, but imagine that being six foot nine and a seven foot two wingspan. So Jermichael Green's finishing around the ring as well when it comes to hook shots you know tip-ins all that stuff he has a very soft finish which is really good to see and he's gonna have to play that inside outside offense as time goes on i've noticed this with golden state warriors and that's what really makes them a championship team but golden state warriors really like to mix it up it's not the same people coming off screens it's not the same people diving to the basket they always like to change it switch it up and have everyone moving and i think that's what makes golden state warriors dangerous and that's why i think Jermichael Green is such a perfect fit you know like I've talked about before he's got three-point shot when it comes to inside the paint he is a great finisher uh, his athleticism definitely plays a part in it and that's why he's such a great finisher when it comes to around the ring whether it's at a standstill or whether he's driving to the basket full pace so you may see a couple of highlights this year of Jermichael Green slamming it on someone I'm honestly hyped for it you know Golden State Warriors are known for their highlights on the three-point line but having Andrew Wiggins and now Jermichael Green they are going to bring some new highlights to the Golden State Warriors with those dunks that are honestly going to be insane. So don't be surprised if you see some of those highlights on this channel, guys, because they are going to be absolutely nasty. And Jermichael Green has shown that time and time again. And I think, like I've said time and time again, he's a fantastic pickup for the Golden State Warriors in that aspect. Reason number five, and a really important reason, is that Golden State Warriors aren't signing Jermichael Green for a lot of money. So it hasn't been certain on what that number is. Is, but on June 23rd, 2022, the Denver Nuggets actually traded Green with a 2027 protected first round pick to the Thunder. In return, the Nuggets will receive the draft rights to Peyton Watson and a couple of future second round picks. On July 20, 2022, Green was waived by the Thunder and now the Warriors are expected to sign him. So it isn't certain on how much money he's actually going to be signing for, but watching all these people such as Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith, all these people talk about it, they said it's not going to be for a lot of money due due to the high luxury tax that the Golden State Warriors already pay. So I think that's honestly huge in that aspect. Now, as you all know, the Golden State Warriors are paying one of the highest luxury taxes out there because of a lot of the superstars they have. You know, they have Draymond Green, they have Klay Thompson, Steph
Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, I'd say now is somewhat of a superstar. Now, I know a lot of you were going at me the last comment saying that he isn't a superstar just yet, but he's definitely in that caliber where he is a really good player. We also have Jordan Poole, who's a very good upcoming player, and James Wiseman, Kevon Looney. Obviously, they are at their highest when it comes to the amount of market value they bring. So there's a lot of money that the Golden State Warriors do have to give up. Joe Lacob has made it known that he's willing to spend as much as he can in order to win another championship, which I think is great. But it's also good, you know, to bargain for deals, which they have done here for Jermichael Green. The reason why it's such a smart move is because it helps Golden State Warriors for the future, keeping him under a small contract if they do decide to get, you know, bigger players in the future. You know, maybe Steph Curry, Clay, unfortunately, Draymond, as they're starting to get older, they're going to need more cap space when it comes to getting younger players and younger superstars. So that's definitely when they can come in. So there's a lot to it in that aspect. Now, obviously, money is very big when it comes to these organizations, but saving money in these little ways will really play a whole part when it comes to the long term effect it has on the Golden State Warriors. So we could see maybe next offseason or maybe the offseason after that, we could see some big players being announced or being signed by Golden State Warriors. Now, I'm not talking NBA all star superstar level, but I'm talking about your solid players that are really good and that will help benefit the team. You know, getting someone of Jermichael Green's caliber for that price is a really, really good sign. So I think it's honestly going to be huge, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.